sensors, effectors, control system. What are the functions of these basic components in a robot? Hello, SciPals! I am Ma'am Beth Aquino, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to identify the basic components of a robot. We are also going to describe the AMBOT and its features. Furthermore, we will demonstrate how to manipulate the AMBOT. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another um, moment. Roboticists build, program, conceptualize, design, and experiment with robots. A robot is a machine designed to accomplish a specific task. It is also a machine that uses programming to make decisions. Ah. Let us discover the basic components of a robot. The first component of the robot is the sensor. Sensors help detect things like images, colors, lights, distances, and sounds accurately. There are different types of sensors depending on its purpose. Light and sound sensors in robots are based on the functions of human sensory organs. It is used to estimate a robot's condition and environment. These signals are passed in a controller to enable appropriate behavior. The second component of the robot is the end effector. Effectors have to be flexible enough and is attached to specific parts, allowing the robot to interact with its task. Most end effectors are mechanical or electromechanical that serve as grippers, process tools, or sensors. The third component of a robot is the control system. The control system makes the decision necessary for the sensors and any factors to work together. Ah. This is an MBOT. An MBOT is a science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics education robot for beginners. It makes teaching and learning robot programming simple and fun. It is a game development software that uses blocks to make codes. It helps develop students' logical thinking and designing skills. In addition, students will experience the charms of mechanics, electronics, graphical programming, and computer science. This robot is easy to assemble. Its electronics are based on Arduino, and it supports iOS and Android app. Arduino IDE and MBlock are two drag-and-drop programming tools which are based on Scratch 2.0. This robot supports Bluetooth or the 2.4 GHz module for wireless communication. It has easy and intuitive wiring with color code RJ25 connector. In particular, it can be programmed to perform different tasks such as singing and dancing, line following, and obstacle avoidance. These are the different parts of the robot. Aluminum chassis, motors, Wheels, mini wheel, M core, 
Bluetooth or the 2.4 GHz module, ultrasonic sensor, line follower sensor, the AA battery holder, lithium battery holder, USB cable, RJ25 cable, screwdriver, 25 millimeter bra studs, and screws to fix them all. Ah! Let us demonstrate how the MBOT is assembled and see how it works. In order for this robot to function, we need to use the Mblock software which integrates Scratch and Arduino programming. Ah! One component of the Mbot is the control system. It can be done in two ways. First, it can be controlled using mobile applications that are compatible with Android or iOS operating systems. These apps can be downloaded in the Play Store or the App Store. For desktop computer or laptop, the MBlock 5 must be downloaded and installed. Here's how. Open the browser and go to mblock.com slash software slash mblock5. Click download, then select the compatible operating system. Once installed, this icon will appear on the desktop. Click it and get ready to explore. Let's do some coding and see how it works. The second way of manipulating the Mbot is through a cell phone's Bluetooth. Once the Mbot is connected to a cell phone, the joystick can be used to move the robot around. Mbot works with integrated sensors. It has an ultrasonic sensor, line follower sensor, light sensor, and the color sensor. Ultrasonic sensor is used to measure the distance of the robot from an obstacle. The operating distance of the Mbot is from 3 cm to 400 cm. 
Line Follower Sensor is used for tracing and following black and white lines. Light Sensor is used to measure the intensity of ambient light and monitor the darkness of the surroundings. Color Sensors can recognize black, yellow, red, blue, green, and white. Another component are end effectors. End effectors include all devices, peripherals, or robot accessories that can be attached on the robot's arm or body. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we identified the basic components of a robot. An M-Bot has three basic components, the sensors, the end effectors, and the control system. The sensors help detect things like images, colors, lights, distances, and sounds accurately. The end effectors have to be flexible enough and is attached to specific parts allowing the robot to interact with its task. The control system makes the decision necessary for the sensors and end effectors to work together. We also described that MBOT and its features. Furthermore, we demonstrated how to manipulate the MBOT. That's all for today, SciPals! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another AM ah Moment. Only here in Angham Alam Hub, Palajan's SciTech Portal. Bye!